In this video I want to show you how to create a simple birthday party invitation using Microsoft Word. As you can see here I've created one for Sophie's 13th birthday party. Obviously Sophie being a girl I've used some kind of girly colours with pinks and purples and put in a few girly uh, related pictures as well. Uh, if you're doing a boy's birthday party feel free to change those colours and pictures up to be suitable for you. If we zoom in a little bit there, you can see everything that we've got written. So when the birthday is, where it is, what time it is, um, and when the RSVP is. So it's a pretty simple job, but to make it look nice and classy like this one, you might have to do a little bit of editing. Okay, so let's get started today by making ourselves a brand new blank document in Microsoft Word. First thing I'm going to put into my invitation is in the Design tab at the top here. I'm going to go right across to the right and choose Page Borders. And there's lots of different borders we can have here. Okay, you can have boxes, shadows, 3D borders. Okay, but the one I want is down the bottom here, the art borders. Now some of these are really tacky. Okay, they look quite ugly. For example, this little nuclear waste kind of symbol. I don't like it. Okay, try and avoid using tacky symbols if you can. And look for something that looks a little bit more elegant and classy. Alright, so I'm going to go near the bottom. You don't have to copy me, by the way. I'm just going to choose this one. I'm going to choose a colour for it too. Now as I said this is a girl's invitation I'm making so I'm going to choose more colours and pick a, just a light pink colour there. And make sure it, apply, it applies to the whole document so that goes around our whole page. And when you click OK you should have a border around your whole page. So that's looking good. The next thing we need to do is put in a nice big title at the top. So let's go back to the home tab up here. And I'm going to change my font. Okay, I'm going to use one called Palace Script. I don't know if you'll have this one on your computer, but Palace Script is a nice um, calligraphy kind of font or running writing kind of font. It looks a little bit elegant. I'm going to make it nice and big, and I'm just going to write at the top, Sophie's Birthday. I'll probably make that even a little bit bigger. Size 90 looks good. I'm going to then center align it so it's in the center of my page. And while it's still highlighted, I'm going to change its color. Okay, you can either go with pinks or purples, I think for a girl, I might just go with this purple right here, that looks pretty good. Um, bold text, oh, probably a bit ugly, I might leave bold off, but you might want to put your heading in bold to help it stand out a bit. Heading down to the next line now, we can change our font back to something a bit smaller, so I might go back to size, say 20, and just use Calibri Light. Again, you don't have to use this font, this is just the one I'm using, and I'm going to pick Another colour, I might go a pinky colour again, but this time a darker pink. That one looks pretty good. And I'm going to write in something like, come and join, I'll zoom in here so you can see that. Come and join Sophie, celebrate her 13th birthday. Whack an exclamation mark at the end. Now after this, I want to put a little picture in. Now, I went on to Google Images and I found a couple of pictures that relate to girls' birthday parties. Okay, these pictures are just here. I've got a present and I've got a girl. Okay, so you can either copy and paste some pictures off Google Images and put them in or you can save them in your account and just drag them across to Microsoft Word and put them in. Okay, and you can see that picture fits nicely there, so I might just make it a little bit bigger. And that's the first picture I'm putting in to my document. Uh, the next thing I might do is put in the details for the party. So the when, whoops, can't spell today, the where, and the time. Alright, so when is her birthday party going to be? We're going to make it on the 1st of March 2018. Where is it going to be? It's going to be held at Gundawindi Water Park, and the time is going to be 11am to 3pm. Now, to make it look a little bit fancier, I'm just going to highlight each of the when, where and time, and I'm going to press Control b to make them bold. Well, you can just go up the top and press the B button. Control b is the shortcut, though, for making them bold. Alright. I also want to space these out. You can see I've got a lot of room left at the bottom of my invitation. Okay, so a quick way to space out this text here is to highlight it and use line spacing. This is our line spacing tool here, so you can head down and choose 2 for the line spacing. You can see it puts a bit of extra white space between each line of text. Okay, so that's looking good. 
On the next line, I'm going to put another picture in. So, back in my folder over here where I saved a couple of pictures off Google Images, I've got the girl with a birthday cake. So, the birthday girl. Let's make her a bit smaller. And she should fit in quite nicely there. Now, when you're saving pictures off uh, Google Images, make sure they haven't got a watermark written across them. Okay, it looks quite ugly and very unprofessional, so make sure you've got rid of that. On the final line, we're just going to write in the RSVP. Okay, remember to highlight RSVP and make it bold. Okay, but the writing that comes after it, it won't be bold. And we'll make it just a little bit before the birthday, so 25th of February. I don't know why my colours have changed there. I'll fix that in a moment. On 0421, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so I'll quickly just get those colours back to what I want. That's looking pretty good. A little bit of room still at the bottom, so I'll just make that picture a little bit bigger. Um, it's not much more I could add to that. If you wanted to add some more details, like bring your togs along for a swim or whatever, feel free to do that as well. But that's how I would make a very simple birthday invitation uh, for a 13th birthday party. I would like you to make one similar to this, okay? But you get to choose your own pictures, your own colour, and the own writing on what you'd like to do for your birthday party. All right, good luck.